Boutlier, thank you so much for joining us, my brother. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Uh, so your exhibition in Zurich, I mean, <laughs> let, let's start How there. do you secure an exhibition in Zurich? <laughs> <laughs> Connection. Tell us about your connection. Yeah, uh, but I guess with me, like, uh, I had a relationship with the Swiss since 2016. I was having a residency in Germany, mm. and then they asked me to come to Switzerland, like, to have a presentation. Wow. So that's why I actually met up with the galleries to offer me a show uh, uh, at this time. Wow. And, and then how did you do art and, 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 and all of this as a hobby? How did you switch it up to actually to, make it something so yeah. serious? I, sh I just understood that it's actually something that I'm more passionate about and uh, it's just happened to free my, my mind better if I'm mm. putting in work in the, yeah. So that's how the character has been built, you know, of being an artist. And, so. and through your visual arts, I mean, you tell stories so much so that the exhibition is called To Find Me. So I, I wonder what, what, what is being found through your artwork? What are you imparting to people? Um, yo, I think I've found a lot of things, um, like for instance, I guess like my work just gave me that access to, uh, to the world, at, like first of all, like to understand um, how to use the information that is all over, like in the world. But To Find Me was basically born uh, after my solo exhibition, which I had last year. Mm which was more like looking at my, the past, like uh, the history of the country, like my, as well as my own personal history of the family. But then to find me was like me now being in a space, like encountering a space where I need to find my own personal desires. I mm. need to create my own yes. story now. Your and own vibe. Yes, that would sort of uh, motivate or sort of inspire the community to do better. Yeah. What does it do for an artist when you birth this and it's received so well by the public at large, so much so that you're representing South Africa on a global stage? Yeah, sorry, can I repeat the question? So, I mean, as an artist, you get to birth. You literally yes. conceptualize yes. this within and, and you birth yes. this. Yes. And then there's validation from yeah. people. I mean, they, they <laughs> love your work, yes. they're inviting you to exhibitions. Yeah. What does that do for you, for your art, for the inspiration to continue moving on when times are tough? Yo, it's really like fulfilling. I can mm. say it's like, uh, it's, you feel like it served the purpose because I guess the idea is to put a conversation out there. And because when you're putting up a show, it's like the whole conversation of the things that you see and how you feel about those things. And then people will react from that and then conversations begins and hopefully actions follow, yeah, so, yeah. Butle, I actually still want to take it back again to yeah. somebody who's at home now and they know that they've got this talent or they've got, they, they've got some sort of creative thinking, especially when it comes to art, yeah. but they're not getting the support from their family and their parents, etc. How do you still continue pursuing um, a career in, in, in being an artist like yes. yourself, um, while also balancing making the parentals happy. Like, and, you get what money. I mean? And making money. And making money, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yo, I guess it's, it's very common that it happened that the family always sideline you a bit yes. when it comes to that idea. But then I think to be curious, it's, it really helps and try to. I, like uh, uh, associate yourself with relevant uh, institutions or mentors. Mm. It just keeps you going more, you know, like you have to be very uh, specific about the things that you uh, check. Like for instance, if you want to become an artist and you're at home at this stage, it's always good to visit art centers that are nearby. You visit galleries, because that's where you're going to meet the same people of your kind who might mm. be yes. like, yeah, actually, you know, you need to channel. Mm. And then it just grows to a stage where people want to invest in you as you, you develop as an artist, you know, because of your, uh, your stories that you tell, you know. Yeah. And your value, your value, your value proposition. Your value, of course, yes. I'm... Yeah. I'm looking at the colors, the textures, the 
the strokes, the style. I mean, for those who don't really understand, understand yeah. um, the, I mean, art, the intricacies of it, and haven't they haven't really studied it um, at, at an institution? I mean, explain to us what inspires you and, and how you manage to balance those textures and dynamics in your art pieces. Yeah, uh, texture is very important because I think it just defines life in general. Like, yeah. as individuals, you got good life and a good side and that side that you... Shadow. <laughs> you know, the No shadow. one knows. <laughs> yeah. No, so, the shadow's off. Yeah, so I guess it's, it's almost the same process with painting. It's like you, you want people to feel... You want to feel it first when you, when you work, you know, like to feel those kind of... Textures. I cannot go deeper than that in explaining, but the feeling is must be. You must feel something when you're looking at the work. So, like as for myself, I always like try to keep balance of the two, but I'll always outshine the shadow inside yeah, of I things see. just to you know to show that the way forward is much more brighter than the other. Mm. Yeah. Who are some of the artists uh, in South Africa and abroad that you draw inspiration from? Well, I, I drew inspiration from a lot of artists, like uh, mainly like old guys, like the late David Kolwani. Um, you can name uh, the new Nesimo Camos. You can name yes, like a number. Deborah Bell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I've checked. Okay, yeah. and how do we follow and see the process of what's going to be happening in Zurich to find me to this find exhibition? Me. Like your social media, are you going to yes. be posting in? Give yes. It, and how long is the exhibition? Mm. Okay, the, the exhibition like opened two weeks ago already, and then it's running until the 12th of October. So and October. you can see the the post from my Instagram account is artist underscore Wanda Bushi. Artist underscore Wanda Bushi. Yes. Okay. So I just on that page I just share everything that happens within my studio and the project that I'm doing outside. Wonder, you know, as you, you're hit with that inspiration or that feeling that you yes. spoke of, yes. are you a morning person or are you an <laughs> evening person or does it just hit you and then you decide, oh my gosh, I'm going to stop everything and go and do it? <laughs> what, what does that process look like for you? Okay, uh, I think I'm an evening uh, person, evening person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because, like, for me, like, in the morning, I'm more, like, meeting up with people, you know, yeah. like, having conversations and then I can mold all this energy like at the end of the day and now it's quiet and then I start to work at studio and respond to things. Yeah. Mm. Wow, visual artist, Wanda. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you very we much. We really, really appreciate it. We wish you all the best with what's <laughs> happening in Zurich and yeah. I hope you're just going to continue doing um, these kind of things in many other countries. Mm. Yeah, hopefully. It's going to be and cool. I mean, you're flying the flag high for South Africa because you're telling our story. So yes. keep doing that and keep shining. Thank oh, you. Thank you very much. Bless. Well, there we go. Of yeah. course, just uh, <laughs> speaking about his journey as a visual artist um, and also just some of the works that he has been um, working on, producing, and, and of course that exhibition that's taking place in Zurich, Zurich as well. What, wow. what an amazing wow. story. To find me, yeah, his exhibition runs up until the 12th of October. Check him out on social media if you want to follow his journey. An amazing person to, do, mm. to discuss and chat with. Um, we'll probably have him here in the future.